Hi, preschoolers. So today for our activity, um, we are going to investigate why you got masking tape in your connection kit. What can you do with masking tape, you ask? There's so many things we can do with masking tape. Remember in our classroom when we put tape in the art center? And you could tear it, you could cut it, you could stick it to the table and make patterns, you could put it on paper and paint over it, you could um, uh, turn it into things. Some people made numbers with tape or they made pictures with tape. Um, but today we're going to show some fun ways that we can do tape um, because this tape doesn't take paint off the walls and it, it's good for sticking on something and then ripping it off. So I'm gonna tilt my camera down so you can see my, my desk here. So this is my hard surface that I'm gonna use. Sometimes I use the carpet too, but today I'm gonna use this. So one thing that's really good with our masking tape is just to rip it and place it. So you can do some designs. Maybe you can make some letters. There's the letter T. I know it's upside down for you. You can do upper and lowercase T. You can do letter X. Those are some easy ones. You can even do Miss Amanda's letter. Did you see how the sun just went behind the clouds? My room got darker. You can do Miss Amanda's letter. Miss Amanda's letter is ah, ah, ah. A. Look at that. I did an A, an X, a T, and a T. And another fun thing you can do with masking tape is you can rip it off. This is great for the fine motor skills to just take tape off the table or off the counter and reuse it. So I'm going to take all these pieces off and then I'm going to make some shapes with my tape because shapes, most of them are made with straight lines, except for our circle and our oval, things like that. So I'm going to use some of these to see what shapes I can make. I'm going to reuse my tape because it's still got some stickiness left to it. And remember, if you want to practice your cutting skills, you can cut pieces of tape off your roll. Look, I made a rectangle. Rectangle. Maybe you could add to your tape design. Like I said, if you don't want to do it on a hard surface and you'd rather do it on paper, you're more than welcome to just do that. Um, it just won't be as easy to rip off the paper. Um, but yes, it's fun to just take tape and create things with it. Um, it's just a good, easy, fine motor skill that kids love to do. Another idea that I like to do is um, use them for counting. So you might rip them up and I might say one, three, two. And you can say, can you put those in order for me? So it'd be one, two, three. And you can talk about the numbers. You can rip them into different sizes. So like you can do this one, this one, and say, which one's bigger? This piece is bigger. Um, you can make patterns out of them. So if you have different color tape or if you have tape and maybe, I don't know, some beads or some little counting bears or um, something small, you can do some pattern making with your tape and with your small items. Um, it's a great way to uh, work on your pattern skills. Um, but masking tape has so many great uses and we use it a lot in the classroom. We tend to have... Um, multiple rolls of it. Um, today I just have red and you have a roll in your bag as well. So let me know how did you use your masking tape today? Bye preschoolers.